Hi guys, this is Manjunath and today I'm here to showcase a script which is useful uh, while creating After Effects templates. I will showcase three examples which is simple, intermediate and complex. Once you finish downloading the script from a script's website, just go to file, script, run script file and then run the JSX file. Here we have three options. One is bake current frame, calculate origin and add selected value. Let's start with a simple example. So we, here we have a shape layer a base layer and a stroke layer. Let's say I have to increase the stroke like this and like this and let this size is controlled by the size of a base layer. So let's add an expression and then go to size, connect it. Now you see the size is uh, adjusted to the base layer size. So uh, if you want to retain this original shape when you disable an expression you'll get the original shape which you have set and this is after the expression so you just have to select the property and then click calculate origin what it does is here if you see it just adds a difference value of the before expression and after expression so now uh, the value both the input and output value is same let's jump on to example two here we have a shape layer with a base and two circles. Let's connect the position of circle to the base layer size. Now I added an expression where it will follow the size of a base layer, but the position is not as this. Now to fix this, you just have to select the position and then click calculate origin. Now it will calculate the difference value between before and after the expression and add it there. Do the same thing for the second circle. Now again, if you see the position of a circle is changed. This is before expression and this is after the expression. Now select the position and then click calculate. Now if you see, uh, the circles will follow the size of a shape layer. Now what if you want to change the position of a circle to check the design faster? Here we go. So maybe I want to change this to, I'll just put it, the center and I will also do the same thing for this. And I will disable the expression. I will place the element where I want exactly. I'll do the same thing for the second circle. And now if you enable the expression, it is going inside, right? Calculate and do the same thing for this. And now again, the value is calculated and this doesn't move in Y right now. It will only move in X. Y value is zero. What if you have keyframes on the property? Now, if you see the circle is animating from left to right and we have an expression to connect with the size. You can also calculate the origin based on selected keyframe. When you disable an expression, you can see this is keyframe number one and keyframe number two. You can select the property and then you can just click calculate origin based on keyframe value number two. Same goes for keyframe value number one. Let's move on to example number three. Here we have a ball and a shape layer. My idea is to animate the ball from top left corner to bottom right corner of a shape layer, also adjusting along with the size of a shape layer. Let's add an expression to get point one and point two to interpolate. Here we have added two points and we are interpolating uh, from K1 to K2 from time zero to one. Let's comment out the bottom two expressions and let's see k1 so the k1 value uh, is the expression is correct but the position is wrong so we'll set the position of the ball first we'll disable the expression and we know the expression works for this point we place the ball where we need and then we select the property and then calculate origin now the calculated value will come here cut it and then paste it for K1. Do the same thing for the K2. Now, uh, 
uncomment k2 and see the k2 value somewhere here but we need here now when you disable the expression this is the initial value which we set but even you can uh, use the bake current frame option just click on bake current frame so that whatever whatever the expression result is there will be baked into the input values so now you can move it select the property click calculate and then cut this value and paste it for k2 so now you have k1 and k2 values set now you just have to uncomment linear and now from 0 to 1 it will animate like that even if you change the size this should work let's join bonanza example here we have a label with four conditions now we need to set this text according to these conditions which are these four let's set position number one disable the expression set this text and then click on calculate copy the calculated value and paste it onto the condition number one let's move on to the second condition now select the text layer again disable the expression move to the desired position and then click calculate copy the value and paste it onto the second condition let's move on to the third condition disable set calculate fourth condition disable set calculate cut and paste it for the fourth condition likewise you can calculate the expression values faster the third one add selected value will add the selected properties value to the expression window likewise this is the result of an expression select the property add selected value this is helpful when you need a result of an expression to use in your formulas also if there are keyframes for a property you can select a keyframe and then click on add selected value that will add a selected keyframes value to the expression window also this function works for any property you select thank you for watching hope you liked it see you next time bye bye